For the first time today, we're getting a look at big changes that are coming to the Lloyd Center Mall. Yeah, a lot of people are excited about this, but they're telling us the changes aren't just to improve the mall, but also the neighborhood as well. Chris Woodard got a look at the plans today, and he joins us now live from the Lloyd District with more. Chris? Yeah, and this is a big deal for the mall. We're talking about tearing down part of the parking structure as well as creating a whole new entrance. But this is a big deal for the city as well because of what's right across the street, a park and a max stop that neighbors say has had their share of problems. And what when I say the gateway after a year of waiting and wonder. So that'll be cafe type restaurant. The reveal plans for an improved Lloyd Center Mall. Something positive to think about instead of fighting the reputation of crime, aggressive transients, and drug use we've been hearing about in this neighborhood for years. It looks great. Jerry Lobb walks here every morning. He saw the original mall built 50 years ago and has seen problems in the neighborhood and park as well. I'm hoping it is getting better. I found out the focal point of this renovation is a new, more open entrance on Multnomah Street across from Holiday Park. Well, we think the park's an important piece. In, throughout the country, we'd be so excited to have a four acre park across any property that we had. And so for us, we really think we've got to engage with the park. It's a great asset in, in our view. Developers have already set up a nonprofit group that's working with Portland Parks and Rec to provide new programming in the park. I looked into it and found things like Zumba classes, ping pong, and piano playing scheduled for this week already. They tell me they want to make it the East Side's version of Pioneer Courthouse Square. It's coming back in and investing in the, the center points of the community. Inside, there will also be a new food court and redone ice rink. So we're going to make it happen quick. The mall, just the latest project in a quickly changing Lloyd District, with an apartment tower across the street being built and plans for a convention center hotel recently approved. The focus is bringing in people and a family-friendly neighborhood. I mean, we feel like we're going to be a part of that. And as a part of that, we want to figure out how we work with the community, work with assets like the park to really draw that in and create a, more of a community feel. And altogether, this first phase of construction on the mall cost $50 million and should be completed by October of next year. The work will begin here in two weeks. Live in the Lloyd District, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.